This is your main workout. This is roughly a 20 minute long workout routine using a system called Peripheral Heart Action Training, PHA training. All we're doing here is working between the legs and the arms in an alternating pattern. What that will do is make you burn away more calories, hopefully more fat as well, which has got to be a good thing. Before you do this, do the mobility exercises on this DVD to make sure you're prepped and ready and set for the workout before you commence. Now, as part of the routine as well, you're gonna need a few bits of equipment, very simple little things. You need maybe a bench or a chair or a step and some hand dumbbells as well. Around three or four kilos perhaps for a beginner and five or six for more advanced. Now, today help me with the routine here, we've got Karen. Karen's gonna be your guide for the beginner and intermediate exercises. So if you're starting off for the first time in a re regime, Karen's your guide for this. And John's gonna do more of the advanced regimes. If you're already into exercise, John will show you the exercises that are a bit more intensive, a bit more dynamic, and make your heart and lungs work definitely faster and definitely harder. Both ready? Let's get started. First exercise here is working the legs. It's a simple, simple squat for Karen and a jump squat for John. Okay, let's get going. All yours. 20 reps at home. So focus on breathing all the way through. So now look at the positions all the time as well. With both of them, knees are going down to 90 degrees in that sit position, whether you're doing the advanced jump squat or the basic squat. And backs always stay really nice and neutral. So it's going to bend forwards a bit, but the actual spine itself stays very, very straight. Sit on the heels a bit, so you're working the glutes a bit harder, working the inner thighs a bit harder. It's a nice dynamic exercise. Five more of those, four, three more, two more, keep on going, one more, and now rest for about 20 seconds and breathe and recover before going into working our arms in the first arm exercise. That should have been okay for the first one, should feel a bit more warmed up now, a bit more ready. Next exercise is what's called a box press up for Karen, so a half press up, and John's going for the big boy thing, the full press up, a bit more intensive, so brace yourselves. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started, go. So going with this one, with both exercises here, going down to 90 degrees at the elbow, and make sure you've got the elbows going pretty wide at the side of you. And again, the backs stay pretty straight, pretty neutral all the time, and you're working at a nice pace there. Roughly one rep every one and a half seconds. Five more to go, four more, last three more reps, all the way breathing all the time, two and one more, and relax there, fine. Now take a break, 20 seconds to recover yourself a little bit before going back to working the legs again in a moment, doing an alternating lunge for Karen, and a more intensive jump lunge for John. How are you feeling? Both okay. So we've already done now one leg thing and one arm thing. We're working well. Remember on breathing, keep it strong the whole time and relax. Enjoy it. It's all good. Are you ready? So, alternating lunges, Karen. Jump lunges, John. Let's go. Good. And again with this, postural positions are very, very important. Always again, back stay upright and nothing really changes in that rule all the time. And both knees again, whether it's on the alternating lunges all the jump lunges go to 90 degrees. Now the jump lunge is quite dynamic, quite intensive. But making sure you leave the ground, switch the feet quickly for 20 reps. That's pretty tough, but keep on pushing hard. Come on, five more now, four more, three more, almost through it, last two, and last one, and take a rest. Now breathe, if you feel any stiffness at all, perhaps in your thighs, a little quad stretch. You grab the foot, pull the heel towards you if you choose to. Just about a five second stretch for each one, very simple. Next exercise will need dumbbells. If you're just beginning, two or three kilos is plenty. More advanced, maybe doing five or six or seven kilos, so a bit more intensive. Lateral raises next, we're working the shoulders. Our rest time's over, are you set and ready? It's a simple side raise going to level with your shoulders or just below the ears in the movement. Let's get going, okay, start it off. Arms are just staying slightly bent all the time. Not going too high, it's not going above the head at all, just to above the shoulders there, very slightly. Position the dumbbells can be just tilted a little bit forwards, very slightly there, and never bringing the hands forwards that way, always straight out the side. So you're working very, very intensely towards the top of the shoulder and the back of the shoulder slightly as well. Last three reps, just keep that going. Last couple, and last one, and relax. Fine, take a breather from moments two, going back to working the legs in a moment with some step ups. Now, if you're feeling stiff in the shoulders, grab your hands together, press them forwards ahead of you that way for about five or six seconds, or press back behind you, for a quick stretch into the front of the shoulders there, stretching the chest at the same time. We're doing a step up next, you need to have a bench or a chair or a step if you've got one at your house. And simple routine, one side at a time, one foot stays fixed on top of the step or the bench all the time. John's doing a shoulder press with dumbbells too to make it more intensive. Okay, are we ready? Karen's gonna go for a shoulder press with no weights. That's our beginner version, let's get started, all yours. Now we do 15 reps 
of each side here. So 15 reps, reaching up nice and high there, pressing hard with those dumbbells, reaching up. Don't let your, your back go backwards too far. Very, very tight in the abs, good strong posture position in the middle of the body. 15 reps on that one side before we change it over. Doing the last three reps now. Keep it going, guys, all the way. Come on, last two, keep pushing, big effort. Last one, relax, change it over, straight to it. No waiting around. Okay, go, all yours. Big movements, great, strong with those arms. That's it, even with no weights, nice big arm action there. It's gonna make the heart and lungs look a bit harder again and really overload. Get this really, get a good workout done. Strong all the time. Look at that, good springy action. Five more reps, last four, keep working that thigh hard. Last two, last one, and relax, fine, good. Okay, weights down, take a breather for a moment, two. Going back to working the arms in a moment, doing a tricep dip. But again, if you're feeling a bit overtired, take a longer rest if you need to, press the pause button, but try and keep on going, because the short rest give you a harder workout and burn more calories and burn, again, more fat. Keep pushing and pushing hard. Tricep dips, you're gonna need to have a bench for the beginner's version, and a bench and a step for the advanced version. The step for the feet to go onto just raises that intensity very slightly, gives you a longer, higher lever, so it's working the arms that bit harder. 15 reps of this one, it's a fairly short set, but they're quite intensive. Posture here, elbows to 90 degrees, and back stays close to the bench all the time. Are we ready? Okay, let's get going then. So you can see there, that position with the feet being slightly elevated just means John's gonna work very much harder in towards the back of the arms. A little deeper down there again, elbows to 90 degrees, that's better, get some real work done. Keep pushing nice and hard. You can see there again, back is really close to the bench, even the beginner version at the same time. To make that version a bit harder, the legs can go straight if you choose to, and relax there, fine. Good, now rest for about 20 seconds, catch your breath, back to working the legs again in a moment, doing an alternating sideways lunge. Quite intensive, working the inner thighs and working the glutes. And breathe, recover, it's all good. You're doing nice, it's coming towards the end of our first part of this circuit now. You're doing really well. By going back to the legs, we're going to raise the level of workload for the heart and lungs. We keep on going, keep on pushing hard. John's using a weight for this one. You might see how to grab those dumbbells again, hold them up above your shoulders or on your chest. And from there, doing a very wide position lateral lunge. Okay guys, let's get going the first ones. So alternating sides, start from the central point to step out sideways. The outside knee bends to about 90 degrees. And the, the side with the leg at the back stays roughly straightened out. And again, look at that body position. The whole of the torso stays very, very upright and vertical. It's just the hips and the knees that get all the movement. 20 reps alternating legs. Karen's got no weights, John's got the weights. So you can choose which one's right for you. If you're feeling quite brave, got up for a challenge, go with the weights. Otherwise, go with Karen's version instead. Last few reps, guys, five more. Last four, keep pushing through it, breathing all the way. Good, last couple. Good, and one more. And relax there, fine, good. Take a break from those two. 20 seconds of rest again, recover yourself. Hope you're feeling okay. If you're feeling a bit tired, take a short rest, grab some water if you need to. Otherwise, gonna crack on, keep going. Last exercise in this first half of the circuit regime. Now, Karen's version here is working the abs. It's what's called a knee tuck. John's doing a more advanced version of what's called a burpee. So, when we get to this point here, Karen's starting in a press-up position. What she's gonna be doing in a moment is pulling the knees up towards her chest to work the abdominals. John's doing a burpee, which can only be seen to be explained. Okay, let's get it going, guys. First one, so you can see the Karen's tucking those knees in, nice and tight, squeezing the abdominal muscles, but very flat, press up position. 20 of those for that beginner version. John's doing burpees, he's got just 10 of those to do, so 10 reps at home, not make, because they're very intensive, dynamic, tough exercise. Good stuff all the way. Okay, beginners have got another two more to do, and one more, and time, relax there, good, rest. Okay, terrific. Take a break, you've got one minute of recovery, grab some water, have a little walk about, a little stretch as well. We're gonna stretch here, so start with the upper body, put your hands together, press them forwards ahead of you that way. Try to feel your, your shoulder blades just prising apart very slightly there. Feel that stretch right across your upper back as much as you can. We stretch those arms forwards. Okay, relax down there. Grab your hands behind your back and press them back away from you that way. You feel a stretch across the chest and the front of the shoulders just through here. You work those muscles really hard. Try to rest them there, recover them, stretch them again because they shorten down when you work them. And rest there, great. Let's do a little thigh stretch as well. Grab the foot and pull the heel back behind you. Keep the knees close together, and again, body very still and upright. Also have to push at this stage. <laughs> okay, and change legs over. Roughly eight, 10 seconds 
per stretch you're doing here. It's quite a long time for each stretch. That's good. Okay, one more stretch for your hamstrings as well, the back of the legs there. Put one foot forwards ahead of you and just press down towards your knee. Make sure your back stays tall through here as you're pressing over. Rather than slumping over, stays tall and presses straight through and hold for about five, six seconds. Okay, change sides. And again, hold that stretch there. Now, having done those stretches in a moment, we're going to start doing the same regime again, doing the same eight exercises in the same order. So quite intense. And they felt for the first time around, if that felt quite easy, go for the advanced version. If you're happy where you are, stay where you are. But you're working really well and working hard. 